Howdy, howdy, folks, and happy hump day, yeah! A train here with you for another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Now available on Steam from RenderCube Games and Toplitz Productions, and it's on sale until February 3rd. I thought it was the 4th, it said the 3rd. 25% off, that will run you about 27 US dollars, so go get you some of this and get in on the action, fun, and frivolity. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. We're on the uh, downhill slide looking towards the weekend. You know, it's that cyclical thing we talk about. Speaking of cyclical things, uh, we've got an interesting little kind of discussion we want to throw into the mix today uh, regarding something that's actually not part of the game, but you can tell it's it's there, but it's not there. All right. So let's uh, let's jump in here. Let me hit that little thing right doll. And I'm hoping you're going to get a better uh, frame rate out of this deal because I just I, I guess I didn't realize that somewhere along the way my OBS went back to 30 frames per second and now I've set it to 60. So hopefully it's going to run smooth. It's going to run. Uh, nice. There we go. Okay, I can hear myself. Um, and uh, so, uh, this will be good. We got our pretty poppy fields up. It's summer of year five here in the Oxbow. So, we talked last episode, I think it was last episode, it may have been the prior one, about moo cows. We're going to be looking to get some cows. And we've been doing a lot of expansion up on this side here, the east side of the village. It's all farming. We have a farm shed. And we have a lady who's doing nothing aha that is correctable so what we're going to do is uh real quick like let's take a look and see so she's in the east farm shed if she were doing something she wouldn't be, be sweeping right so what that tells me is the fields are probably all set let's look at the fields first now these little fields right here are just poppy fields that we put in front of the new houses over on adele's way that we made last video and it makes it pretty so what we have is our east fields east one through five here's the problem and i wonder if we're getting going to get now it's not saying anything are we out of flax seeds or is it, it, wait, what time is it? Oh, it's 9.30. Okay. So she should be working on seeding. No, 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 no. It's summer. Therefore, flax has been harvested. Right? Yeah. All right. This is uh, cabbage then. All right. Because we had flax in the field. Now we've got cabbage. It's showing 23 of 100 tiles uh, planted. So the question is, hello, Michelle Shenong. Welcome aboard. I appreciate you being here and glad you caught us. We got a matinee uh, edition today. So it works kind of slow this week. So hey, why not take advantage of the opportunity and uh, have some fun on Medieval Dynasty. So welcome aboard. Appreciate you being here. Uh, let us know where you're from out your local airport code i may have to look it up if it's something fancy but uh certainly appreciate you stopping in and saying hello if you have questions comments or anything you want to talk about feel free the chat is open and it's for you guys as much as it is and even more than for me so um all right so let's look at farm shed east let's look in our inventory we have 100 cabbage seed we have bags we have hoes we have sites we have all the tools a grown person needs to farm in the game. So now, my question is, why is she sweeping? And why is she not planting? Oh, because that's not her. Then why is she sweeping? Who the heck is this? And why, what, what, why did you come to my planet? That's Alruna. Okay, let's, let's just check with Alruna real quick. It's, this just may be a... East, farm shed east that's what we're looking at here who's assigned to farm shed west debbie and waslava 
part of the, the Slava family. There's a whole bunch of them. So, why is Alruna here? Is she actually assigned? She is not. Is she assigned to a job? It says farmer. What is she assigned to? It says farm shed east. Oh, I know what's happening. This is not a farm shed east issue. This is a farm shed west issue. Who's actually in the field? This is someone from farm shed west. That's Debbie. Aha. Uh -huh. So what we need to do is actually get Debbie and send her back over to her barn. All right. Dobra Milla. Okay. You. All right. This. Now we figured it out. Okay. So what it is, is even though this field would have that little red indicator next to it that says it's distant and will be less efficient, it doesn't mean your people won't work it. They will work it. It's just it'll be less efficient because it'll take them a bit to get up there and start doing their thing because the farmers, when they drop seeds in the field, boom, that's a real-time activity, right? When they hoe or when they clear uh, a tile of a field, that's a real-time activity. It's not like anything else in production in the game. You see them going through the motions, but the game just basically runs a computation that says they make X amount of this per day. Okay, so what we're going to do here is assign her to the West Barn. And now that also, I think, tells us. All right, take off. And now you're going to get to work now. You're going to get to work now. You're going to get to work now. No, maybe. All right. So let's look at the West Fields. Beetroot set, that's all, this is all east side, hillside, oat, oat, oats all sown, wheat's all sown, okay, so it looks like they've harvested all the flax, so what should, what should be happening, wait, I don't have to do that either, come on, A-Train, you're smarter than this, all right, so we go back in management. So now what we can do is look at the status of the field. So here's the three fields that are on the south side of the barn, right? That one, okay, look over here. That one and that one. If you don't know where they are on the map, because it's not as clear, here's where we are. We're on the east side. This road divides east from the west, okay? This is the barn on the west side. This is uh, south barn one, two, three. And those are three flax fields. Hello, Sven. Welcome aboard. You hate my luck. <laughs> I knew you'd. <laughs> uh, I gigged, I gigged Sven, uh, Sven over on the uh, Discord. And there's a link in the description below if you want to join us over there. And Sven, Sven had been having issues for days with finding someone who was an extraction specialist. And I'm running around the map and there's extraction specialists coming out of the woodwork. And then... <laughs> I posted the picture of our unicorn the other last night. <laughs> and Sven's like, damn it. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> I pay better than you do, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They like the view here better than, than your village. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, all right. So we know these three fields are one, two, and three, right? All right, so we can go into management. We can look at these fields up close. Uh, this is fields um, South Barn 1, 2, and 3. So if we double-click here, we'll see what's condition the field's in. It's actually unsown. So what they did was they, they harvested the flax, which then puts it back in an unfertilized state. All right? Then they have to put down fertilizer, and then it goes to an unplowed state. And then they go along with the hoe, and they till the soil, and it goes to an unsown state. Okay, so that field's ready to go. This field's ready to go. And then once you put stuff in the field, it'll look like this. It'll be green. And then when it's ready to harvest, it'll be yellow. All right. And this field. So the girls in the south barn where we have two people assigned have nothing to do. That's why they're rolling up in here or the south, uh, the west farm shed. That's what the problem is. So why Slava may be thinking she's going to come up in here. So what we're going to do is actually put 
where in fact let's look at this let's look at why slawa not we slawa we slawa we slawa wah, wah, da, da, da. why slawa okay she's in she's on second street uh house four all right so she lives on the west side of town so she needs to stay on the west side of town so we're going to move her out of the farm shed and this is just a little bit of micromanaging you have to do we're going to put her in the barn over there you know what uh-uh well, yes, because again, what you see people doing, <laughs> this man, oh man, rain you off the get to damn it, I'm, screw you guys, I'm going back to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Maybe you should just start the game, just start over, bro. <laughs> apply lessons learned and maybe you'll have some better luck i don't know <laughs> that's funny so anyway you're going to see the four ladies over there in the barn and um now you know what let's let's do this let's do a little experimento okay actually no i know this is right see we've added two more people and now this number's actually doubled from what it was um, and I really want to punch that number up a little bit more, but that's okay. Right now we're all right. We're all right. All right. All right. Let's look in resource storage. I want to see what our fertilizer situation is because we talked about fertilizer ad nauseum. We have 54, so we're kind of short on fertilizer right now. So we kind of need to kick that in the ass, right? And we have plenty of uh, manure to work with. We got plenty of doo doo brown, doo doo brown. So, in fact, we could use another couple of farmers. <laughs> I appreciate you being here, <laughs> regardless. <laughs> oh, geez, that cracks me up. All right. So, we have oat grain to process into or oat grain. We should have a bunch of rye. Now, rye grain is going to be getting processed because it just got harvested. It gets harvested. Oh, we got rye. That's got to be worked into rye grain. So now uh, that's storage and resource storage. So let's go back to barn to west. So they're working rye grain per uh, and this is working per day. We've got a little bit of flour going. You know something? We're going to deprioritize that and go full song on this. All right. And so that's going to be like, what is that, uh, 2842 per day? Excuse me. Ooh, hello. Um, and fertilizer. Okay. Oak grain at 3.33. Let's bump that down to three even. And let's just put a little bit more here. All right, so over the course of three days, we're almost up. If I could just get this. Mm, 20, we're getting it close. We need one more barn worker is what we need. And hey, looky here. If I look at my list of uh, potential candidates, we still have. Wait, did we recruit Radomila? I don't remember. Let me see here. Radomir, Radom, no, this is Radomina. Did I write her name down wrong? I might have written her name down wrong. She's 18, so she's she's young. Ah, eh, she's new too. Okay, <clears throat> she's in a house, um, and she's just in a job she doesn't like. Yeah, so we did recruit her from Skalki. So we still have um, Unislaw up from the slaw family up in uh piastovia and uh then we have inga and agnes up in uh clon uh clonky what the hell all of a sudden i'm having a brain fart on it clon clon clonica yeah clonky whatever <laughs> we have clonky skunky and a weddy <laughs> whatever <laughs> Um, now, 
Uh, we we a lot of talk last uh, episode was about putting people in jobs to raise their skills. You can see all the green ones. We've got people right now. We are being entirely inefficient. In fact, Presmere I think is about to go up to. Oh, he's up to level five. I wanted to switch him into a market. And Milo's out of the market, so he's up to six. And Metarica's out of the market and up to six. And um, so um, let's see, Presmir. We need to get Presmir moved. Aha, Stranislawa is, I think she's almost to level five. I want to swap her in Presmir. So he's in Blacksmith one, uh, Smithy uh, A. Okay. And she's in the stall. So we need to put her in Smithy B real quick. Uh, yeah, and then we'll move her over in a second. So we can move Presmir into her spot in the clothing stall, which corrects that issue. And now we can move her into his position in Smithy A. Okay, so again, here we got someone working on a one, 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 one. You see, see the pattern here? We're working on getting these people some skills to get rid of these ones on their resume. So that's the whole plan there. We kind of went through that with the spring cleaning last episode. All right. Um... So now we've got all the ladies working in that West barn and we've kind of balanced it out. We need another barn worker though. And if we go get Inga and Agnes, Inga's actually a three in, I mean a one in farming. Agnes is a three in farming. She can uh, help increase the um, production on fertilizer because we are going to need fertilizer. Although, Again, I'm the most efficient, you know, person in that regard. So if I need to step in and handle it, we can do it. Um, we can also put her to work now. She should stop doing what she's doing. Once the game realizes I just took someone out of that position. And she sh should stand up here and then she's going to go and start seeding that field. Ta to the da. That's how you do that. All right. Oh, we got a steak laying around over here. All right. So we got a cool little poppy field and stuff. And now we're up on high ground right here. This is effectively the high point of the village, right? And we kind of talked about something the game's lacking, which is irrigation. So we talked about putting the, the cow pen over here, not the USS cow pens. I was looking at this path and I'm like, you know, I could run it straight down through here, but it would almost make more sense if we expanded this field down a little bit and we ran the path along the water flow because you figure that would kind of be eroded. So this area is fairly flat. I mean, it probably gently slopes down this way, but you start to get to here ish. And it looks like if we follow the direction we're walking here, we're walking, we're walking. This is the direction water would flow during a heavy rain, right? Right down to where those ladies are. Okay. Uh, it kind of hits a little weird spot here. This would probably erode. And the thing is, this is a low spot. Where the hell is the water going to go from here? This is going to, it's going to pool. So that's a bit of a problem, but I mean, we can't, we can't change the map because in theory, this should actually you know, allow the water to flow off that way. 
So I was just kind of thinking about that. It would be interesting if they, they set things up that way. Let's grab these right here. Um, now that said, uh, we could we could build a path down through here and we could expand these fields or we could just make everything, you know, square, whatever. And then you're walking on a slope as opposed to walking, you know, down here on the flat area, right? Which would make more sense. You're going to walk on the path of least resistance as is, you know, like the water's going to flow on the path of, of least resistance. But as far as putting in the uh, the cow pens over here, the cow pen, I think this is going to be a good spot. And then uh, we may look to put a couple more houses up behind them. I considered putting houses over here at the north end of Main Street. This is Main Street right here. This is 2nd Avenue. All right. We don't really have a name for this street because we don't have any houses on it to name it. Um, and then this is uh, Autumn Lane. And then over here, this is Maple, Birch, and Adele's Way. Yep. So our common, our, uh, our, our, our prominent viewers uh, who are here very often, they uh, spend four or five hours watching our videos and commenting and chit-chatting along and keeping us company so they turn into four or five hour videos it's their fault not mine lose track of time um yeah they got some streets named after them so uh we may have another street over here we may have another street over here whatever so i thought about putting a couple of houses up but then we would lose basically position for uh production buildings and this is kind of the the you know this is the industrial part of town as it were the cooking is all here food and then we've got some excavation uh here and here but the smithies are here the uh sewing huts are here and here then you got the workshop and the herbalist hut so there's a you know do i would i want to put houses up here at the end of this street i don't know i don't think so i think it's okay the way it is and we need to so we've got redundancy with everything but the workshop and the herbalist height at this point. We've got a second kitchen, two smithies, two excavation huts. Oh, we don't have a second uh, hunter's lodge, but we do have space for it. So see, we did some planning in advance here. Two sewing huts. So workshop and uh, herbalist hut. I may look at moving the herbalist hut across. I mean, in theory, I could move the herbalist hut across if I wanted to shift the workshop up, move the sewing hut back across. You could have two herbalist hut here and then workshops here or something. There's all, all kinds of things we can do. We have a hammer. It has a destroy feature. Fe feature? Yeah. So if we're going to put moo cows in this area, we're going to have to do some clearing. But first, it's midday. And uh, a couple things are going on here. There is someone with a mission. Someone needs us to do something for them. So let's go find this person. We're clean. We're good to go. And they are, whoops, nope, they're right here. Just a little bit of courage. So always quick say before you go into combat or a new area or you take on a mission. All right, need a mirror. Mira. How is life treating you? Good. What's up? Can I help you with something? Spare bottle of cherry wine? Oh. Hmm. Desperate need. Problem is I drank the wine. Now the idiot can't try to admit that I'm right. Right about. Oh, here we go again. We had this mission already. It's better than plum wine. Oh, I see. All right. Good luck. I think we actually have uh, cherry wine in storage. I think. We're, we're going to have to start stockpiling this for these drunks around here. We apple. We do not have cherry wine. Okay. We can buy some in town. Speaking of in town, we got to go into town anyway. Oh, we could take some stuff to sell, except we're not really sell. Mm, let's see if we got anything we could sell. 
We got apple wine. I guess we were to hold on to that. Apple juice, tree seedling, bronze axes. We got like 10. We're making those with pretty good clips. Let's grab five. Bronze pickaxes. Let's grab th three of those. All right. That puts us up to weight, weight limit. We'll roll tide from here. So last episode, we looked at some... Did I really build that all the way up this stone? I feel like something changed here. We talked about picking up some some stuff because we got soap from the guy over in Skalki for completing the mission uh, where we helped his wife out. And soap is like a luxury item that apparently you can use to flirt uh, as it, it uses, is gives a gift to men. Well, I have no desire to do that. Uh, look, here's, uh, this present, pause near, pause near. friend. Hey, how much money you got? 1243, here, buy some axes. Thank you. Can I interest you? Have a good day. The worst thing about this time of year are mosquitoes. Mosquito. All right, we gotta wait for Dom's, oh, there he is. One of the travelers told me that ain't a cow. He's all right. Hello there. How much money you got? He's got a little bit. Mmm, I don't think that's enough no that's not for three of these it's enough for two of these now all right so what we want to look at here is something we could get like a glass oh my god that's 900 coins ah soap all right so we're gonna pick up a hard soap and We don't need Malvasic. God, that's expensive. Perfume. I want to put just a couple little detail pieces up on. There's a sweet tooth. Okay. Perfume. Uh, you know, maybe just um, functionality. I guess we could look at that. The smarter thing, actually, Astro Lube, I mean Labe. All right, we just bought something from him. So let's sell him uh, this other axe, I guess. Doink. Here, well, I don't need this deadly nightshade. Buy that from me. Anything else? Oh, I'm carrying eight logs. What an idiot. Should have looked at that. And Steaks and stuff. Good God. No wonder I'm so heavy. All right. That's fine. I interest you in some of my words. Uh, have a no. nice day. I have reevaluated this and figured out there's a better way. Greetings. And it's Lawa. Hi. You got some money. Buy two of these from me. There you go. Thanks. I've been a good luck. And let's see what Marky Mark's got over here. I, I, I figured, now I figured out what we need. How do you do? Good. What's up? All right, Marky Mark's going to have what we need because he's got all the barn stuff and the workshop stuff. Like, this is stuff that would look appropriate in there. And we could make a bunch of it, but uh, I'm about to sell him 500 coins worth of pickaxe. So, <clears throat> hello, Adele. Welcome aboard. How are you today? All right, so what we need, a clay jug. That would be righteous. Let's get a couple of clay jugs. fact we'll get well, let's get three um vials we we have mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we're looking for just little detail bits and schnitz like a basket <clears throat> put them another basket yeah a couple of mead bottles these are just to decorate our two bath places um hmm we got lots of flower stuff wooden bowls wooden cups wine bottles yeah let's get two of those yeah okay all right it's cool it's casual 
wool fabric. That would, wait a minute. All right, five of those. Okay. Another one. I think I got a couple of these in storage, but let's. I saw a really cool picture of someone who had decorated. So long. All right. Diplomacy just went up. Hooray. Sweet. Hey, give me that uh, dandelion while I'm here. Someone made a really cool setup in their village where Our quarter must um, good, this is what we need. Where they took a large wicker crate, okay, and they put it on the ground upside down. So the flat part's up. And then they put another one right side up on top of that at a little bit of an angle. And then they put some, like, vases with flowers in there and some stuff. So it made a really pretty decoration. But what it did was the first crate that was on the ground raised the second crate up. And it looked really cool. Really nice. All right, we got one diplomacy point to spend here at seven. All right, we're maxed out there. We're good there. We're maxed out there. Um, you know what? This makes the village more efficient if we lower demand of stuff. I'm not terribly fussed about taxes. We haven't gotten any King's Challenges. Inspiring speech. Oh, this is faster production. We're going to go for faster production. All right, cool. Move, birds. Now, there's a bunch of missions. We may look at picking some of these up. I think... We're doing, oh, wait, 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 wait. We got to get a bottle of cherry wine. That's over here, actually. That's, what's his face? How is life treating you? Go ahead. Give me a bottle of cherry wine there, bud. Can I in see you soon? So, yeah, whereas the, the devs did a really good job. I mean, look, they've taken a barrel. They've stacked a basket full of flowers on top. And so those are just sitting in there, right? So there's stuff. You can layer things and uh, make nice little decorations and stuff out of them. Not something I've really gotten into. I've been more focused on the mechanics of the game. Now, you know, I just realized I was halfway there. I could have just run over to the camp and recruited what's-his-face. Um, dump this extra weight. And we... I'm going to hold on to... Well, I don't know. Hmm. I do know. We're not going to worry about it right now. Baskets, steaks, stones. Okay, so we have crates, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, take one of those. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, I'm not going to use this. Let's go put that out. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Is there anything else? I don't know if water skins would make for a good decoration. Let's throw a couple of those in the mix and yeah, we got an extra wooden vial sure grab that we got the wool fabric which I bought some just so we'd have some yeah oh 
Holy crap. And we got 9,000 coins. <laughs> we got 10,000 coins sitting here I didn't think to pick up. Here. Thank you. <laughs> We're making some money up in here. And we got buckets. Okay. So this should, this should give us plenty to decorate with. Let's go finish our mission here real quick. How do you do? There's your wine. <laughs> Have a good day. I, now my answer was different last time. She was like, "What?" Uh, okay, so this here is uh, our washing station, but this here is the bathing area. So we put the soap out here last time, right? And let's actually move the bucket off the table and put it down here on the ground. And then maybe we can put a basket over here. Hmm? If you have any thoughts on this, feel free to chime in. I didn't set up a... Um, campfire heating setup over here but all right so then this is kind of like a you know cleaning up space and whatever uh yeah let's throw that there maybe throw this here oh Oh, damn it. That's going goofy there. Decorate. Do we want to decorate? Well, we don't have anything to decorate with. Although it would be kind of cool if we did throw something on here. Yeah, let's go grab a couple of linen fabric and do that. No, people aren't going to do that in the open. Duh. All right, so... Let's just throw stuff on there. Boom. That fell over. Okay, that can sit there. Uh, not that. Uh, let's go back to our inventory. Uh, we've got soaps for the other location. Ah, oh, let's put one of these down. Don't fall. Duh. I don't really want it that far. Oh, my God. Now we've grabbed everything. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right. You know, rotate for me. Rotate, 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 rotate. Mm -hmm. Now, if I move this way, you're still going to fall over, aren't you? Yep. All right. So we may need to put like a bowl or something there. Or one of the baskets or something. What else do we got? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, mead bottles. Oh, here, I don't want to set it on top of something else. So let's put put them maybe over here. Well, let's set it here. See if I can get it vertical and then move it. Nice. Okay. Nice. Keep it. Boink. Beautiful. Awesome. This thing looks like a freaking grenade. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whatever. We're going to find something to put that in so it doesn't fall over and look stupid. Well, we're kind of just farting around here. It's like, oh, let's throw one of everything out there and see how it looks. Medium wicker basket. That's going to go on the, that's going to go up the other one. Uh, what else do we have? Water skin, a wicker crate. Um, we have a wicker crate. How big is that going to be? 
This might be the key to everything right here. Let's wait. I want to see how big this is. Uh, X. Oh, that's big, big. Okay, that's cool. Cool, cool. We'll leave that there. Uh, wait a minute. Hmm. What I'm thinking is let's put. Well. This wicker crate's real big. Ah, here's what I want to do. Well, let me try to put a wicker crate down. Doink, and it wipes everything out. That's okay. Okay, there we go. Now. Now. Doink. Throw that in there. Let's throw. One of those in there. Let's put another one over here. Uh-huh. 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 Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, no, it fell. Drat. Not you. You. All right. Okay. Let's try to get this right. Okay, that's on top of the soap, but that's okay. Oh, no, now we knocked over the stupid uh, blockhead. No, we did, we, where are you going? Where? Bleh. There. Now, this... Bring forward. Yep, like that. that oh, come on! Damn it! <laughs> Stupid ass. Uh, this is a... This is why I don't do this in part. I don't think I would do this on... Okay, first off, let's grab it. Quit freaking... There, leave it right there, right there. Perfect. Now, I need to back this up. And I need to rotate it upright. Mm -hmm. And maybe kind of translate. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, quit shaking for frack's sake. All right, cool. That's better. There's an extra one up here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is looking pretty good. Kind of liking it. Uh, let's throw a wine bottle in here. Mm -hmm. And maybe a water skin, too. Let's do XF. Cool, that dropped in nicely. Uh, a water skin. Okay, let's see here. If we take this mead bottle. Do that. And then if we can put a water skin right up here near the edge, and if I can get it picked up and put it behind, I may have to drop it on the ground first. <gasps> Doink! All right, one way or the other, if I, it wound up on the ground, but it didn't wipe anything else out, so that's good. Okay, so now, rotate like that-ish. Move over, and L... Droppo. Beautiful! <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. How's that? Now it looks like more of a proper washing station, huh? There's some there's some stuff here. Oh, uh, oh, wait a minute. Did I just think of something else? I thought of a different way to do this wicker crate thing. with Because it would make sense. Mm. What if we put... Where's the basket? I think... Is there enough room here for it? Is it going to knock that off? Let's find out. Where's that basket I dropped? Or I picked back up. Oh. This might fit better. This might look better. This might fit better. Do we go for look or fit? Let's try this. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to rotate it. Set it down like that.
Don't knock over the deal. <laughs> Rose must spend literally hundreds of hours dinking around with this stuff. There we go. There we go. Mm hmm. Y'all think, oh, wait a minute. Damn. I just thought of something else. Uh, okay. Now, fortunately, we can move the whole kit and caboodle. All right. I got one more thought here. Let me see. It's got to be here, 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 there. We have plank and three steak. A plank and three steak. You know what? F. Have another idea. This is coming together bit by bit. I have a plan. Let's grab some of that. Mm -hmm. Want this, one of those. And then I want. Some of this. Sure. All right. Back to work. Well, you know, what was the biggest issue with uh, people's lifespan back in this era? Right? Was disease and infection, right? And what I what I feel like we're... I'm trying to achieve here is not something that, you know, we're throwing a few things out here that look, you know, reasonable. The problem with the game is it's not dirty enough. Does that make sense? It really isn't. This was an era of filth. So let's do this, 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 that. Boink. Now, we take that there. Doink. And we put that like that. And then over here, we throw in a couple of, well, shoot. I thought I grabbed some chicory. What a doofus. Don't want the wicker crate. I want the clay vial. Thank you. And then we're going to throw a... Uh, that there. And that there. There. I thought I grabbed freaking chicory. Did I... Do a stupid and not commit to buy it, grabbing it. Yeah, see, I. But to me, that gives you purpose for the herbalist type. You got to have, you know, medicine, doctor, whatever. You got to have something, right? There's got to be something there. And let's just throw another one. All right. I think that looks pretty slick. Now, 
Looks like a wash station. In fact, we'll even put another um, let's see. This is this is kind of ugly. This could, you know what? This could actually use. Let's see how this looks. It's not bad. Okay. Oh, I have a plan. I grabbed leather for a reason, gang. You ready? Ready? This is probably not totally not ever thought of sort of thing here from this era. I don't mean like from a player standpoint. Players, Rose is just the most creative freaking, and she did all this stuff on the valley map without all the benefit of. There. There's a place to step out and stand on. Doesn't quite look the way I'd like it to, but that's okay. Uh, then back over here, here's the fur thing. Maybe throw uh, wool fabric on it. Grab that. Nope, nope, nope. Like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I want to make uh, like a vase with chicory to put in that corner. Okay, I need a clay vase and chicory. Okay. So how much clay Oh, you know, uh, I don't want to go buying everything. That's a beer bottle. That's a mead bottle. It's a clay vase. We need three clay. Okay, let's go get some clay. <laughs> Bill, clay. I just passed it up. We'll make 10 of them, put them in storage. That way we'll have them. Stuff stuff made here, really? Uh, wait a minute. Is this new? That looks new. That looks new. Or is it just from this angle? It looks wet. I hadn't noticed that before. Hmm. No, this has been changed. I'd have noticed that. It looks wet. That's super cool. That's a nice touch. I like it. Now I gotta wash my hands. Blech. Oh wait. Doofus, you gotta make what you're gonna make. Uh clay space with Okay, let's craft um two of them. Why chicory a, a train? Because it's in bloom three of the four seasons. That's why. I like thistle. I would love to have thistle because it's pretty and it's purple. I'd like to be able to mix a couple of flowers together. That would be swell. All right, so now let's see if we can just tuck a clay vase with chicory. Boink. Uh, you got to freaking hit the button. Just like that. Yeah? Yeah? Maybe we can put a vase back in here too. Let me see if I can just set the vase down and lift it up and over. One more thing. Oh, no, it fell. It That should have totally broken, though. You know what I'm saying? Nope, that's not far enough back. There we go. Oh, you know what? If I'm going to do that, I might as well put a clay vase with chicory back there, right? 
Give me this extra chicory. Give me that. Okay. Grabbed the things I didn't want, but that's okay. Let's put one of these there. Doink. And then right here, we'll put our, our juggy back. Boom. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that, gang. I think it looks pretty slick. All right, I got one more thing. One more thing. All right, large wicker basket. X. Well, not exactly what I want. There. There. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There we go. That's where the used towels can go. All right. Cool. That's how we decorate out a bath area. Now, I don't have, we don't have the water heating feature here that we have up on the hill here. Let me grab a couple of other basket type things. We have more space up here too. Da, 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 da. I don't have, oh, I need to add more. Let's get some uh, St. John's wort too. That right there, want that. Uh, we could get a couple of these, I suppose. Might look good. We want to change the other one up just a little bit. Get a couple of these. Okay. One of those. And two of these. And a couple more of these. Okay, cool. Let's go make some couple more little flower thingy majugers. Uh, let's see. All right, so we got St. John's wort. Yes, craft one of those. And then we're going to make one of these. It's only going to be in bloom during the summer, but whatever. And then we're going to make a couple more of these. Okay, cool. So this is where everybody can kind of individualize their village, make things, you know, unique and pretty and all that good stuff. Once we get done dinking around with it, wait, I'm going the wrong street. It's on Maple. No, it's not. It's on freaking Birch. Give me that other chicory. Give me both those chicory. Chicory dickory duck. Look how pretty. Oh, I got to insulate the houses over there. All right, here we go. So here we are. Um, oh, my gosh, there's a henbane in here. So here is our other. Oh, look at the reflection. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and light the, the campfire, too. That'll brighten it up here. And so here's where you heat the water. You got your bucket over top of the, right? Then we got our log table over here, which is empty. We're going to fix that. So let's put a couple of flower thingies in the back. Seth. Mm -hmm. Good. That'll do. Oh, no. Oops. Ah, potion fell. Oh, he hell. Give me, give me that. <coughs> Hello? Hello? I saw it. Where'd it go? I saw it. It's seeing it, but it's not seeing it. 
That's dumb. Oh, come on. How? Uh, oh, oh. There. Oh. Oh, we had it. Just take it. Thank you, blockhead. All right. Now we can stand here on the edge of the tub. Because that's safe. All right. Let's put that there. And um, another vase over here. Uh, St. John's wort. Sure. X. Doink. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really big. We need to do a little switcheroo here. Uh, 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 come, come this way. Thank you. Right about there for now. Thank you. And you go back over here. Very good. Now you go over here. Just turn. I just want to turn the angle a little bit. All right. So now let's drop this one. Let the beat drop. Oh my gosh. That's freaking huge. That's so pretty. That just, oh man, that almost, eh, I don't think that's going to work. It's so pretty, it's not going to work. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, so I think I got a better idea here. Let's take that out, that out, and then let's let the beat drop with the large wicker basket. Or the wicker crate, excuse me. But, okay. Not exactly what I had in mind there, people. <laughs> Damn. Dramatic. Uh, let's see. I think it's because we're up against this wall here, and it probably physics went to crap on us here. Let's try it again. Oh, okay. I'm just punching the wicker crate. All right, let's see if I can manipulate. Oh, you know what? I think that's good. Yeah, beautiful. That's awesome. Okay. So now, let's come back and drop in. Let's do the... Th the thistle seemed more robust. I'm going to put that back in the corner. Like that. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do the St. John's wort. And then we'll put that back there like that cool all right so now we need some shizzle manizzle let's drop one of these in there i said let's drop one of these in there xf no oh, that was messy no e there you go just just move it just a little just a little Okay, that's good. That's that's good enough. And then we had a wooden vial. Well, that didn't work too good, did it? Gotta get this up. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, okay, so now we got that there. Now let's take this and sl oh my god, we're having a freaking earthquake here, people. Relax. There we go. Let's just move it over there. <laughs> got it. Beautiful. That's where it should be. Okay. So now there's a couple little detail pieces in there. Maybe we'll throw like a mead bottle out here, but then let's put in. that that and that cool there 
All right, what do you all think about that? Not too bad, huh? No? Huh? No? It's all right. Is that right? So now, put a few little detail things up here. Like, uh, could do the chicory thing here. Let's see. Put that back there just for looks. Sure. And then uh, clay jug. Put that there. Um, hmm. Oh, uh oh, boo. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. You know why I kind of like it? Because I think we could put the. Bucket right here. Like that. Hmm. Kind of dig it. Kind of digging it. Hello, Autumn. Trying to play without you. Well, it's a matinee. Let's play. On a Wednesday. So, hey, hey, you're here. All right, what else do we got? We can kind of. Oh, soap. We forgot about the soap. Oh, the soap is falling, freaking tripping. Where are you going? Over here. Oh, don't wipe that out. Oh, dumbass. All right, flip it, flip it, smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. <laughs> that's pretty good there all right let's dead jug hey listen juggy juggy relax okay turn this way mm -hmm. okay. figuring out how to move this stuff is a little bit of a experimentation process all right oh well here's ambry <laughs> the gang's almost all here now let's turn this handle that way that'll be different than the others very pretty cool so and then we'll put some additional all right i feel we got an extra basket here don't we we need a basket for dirty towels okay we have a wicker crate wicker crate can go hmm, probably should be underneath that ain't going to go there so we may have to get a small basket or we could just put a wicker crate right here underneath like here oh we still gotta put the honey thingy out boink damn it really Okay, so okay, that's better. I don't like seeing the plants coming up through it. That look kind of stupid. All right, so here. Ah, you jerk. Flip it. Uh -huh. There you go. Good. And then we got a little bit more for here. We'll throw in a wool fabric there like that. Sure. And then we'll throw a linen fabric over here and this will be the dirty towels hamper. 
that didn't go where I wanted it. I want you to just flatten out, straighten up and fly right. That'll do. Cool. All right, there's that. Look, we got soap sitting on the edge of the tub. Bucket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they well, they were here earlier. Sven came in just to be mad at me because I posted on, uh, you know, Discord last night that I had found a unicorn and he was like, Ah, I hate you. I'm going back to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, this seems to be right up against. Ah, oh, you blockhead. All right, move that that way. So you got you to gotta manipulate your mouse here to... Move this crap around like this. Okay. And then I think I want one more. What, you know what? I'm not going to take a chance here. We will... We're going to use this one. Do that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Like that. And then I think we could put, like, maybe another... Uh, let's see. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh! We don't have any of these out. Put that. And that. Cool. There you go, gang. What do you think of that? Huh? Yeah? 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 They look pretty nice. Little bath station now. Looks a little nicer than it did. We could uh, actually. Throw some of that there. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah, there we go. Doing his manly duties. You know what? Doink. Oops. Oh, shoot. That, that does no good there. Damn it. <laughs> I had an idea that I want to share. You don't like it, so what? I don't care. Um, <laughs> God. Uh, well, whatever. I was trying to make it look like somebody had just dropped something there <laughs> or something had fallen off the table, just, you know, inadvertently. But that didn't work out so well, so let's try this instead. Oh, that, that, that fell off the table very gracefully. Let me see if I back up. Stay away from the table, A train. You've worked really hard to make this kind of cool. All right, X. There we go. So that looks like that fell off. Now, we need one more thing over here, and it's only going to partially work because I can't cut that grass, which kind of sucks. But we're going to put a pseudo bath mat down. Doink there. Oh, actually, you know what? That's not bad. Kind of a kind of a bath mat. Actually. There we 
we go. Put one there, and then we'll put one here. Oh, the fire went out. That's so. There you see how long the fire lasts. And then we'll put another one right here. Oops, not that. Da 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 da. Point. And we'll just kind of twist that a little bit like that. Boom. Homemade dinner and being lazy with some movies. Very good. He insists on vacuuming every day. Wow, okay. Leaf blowing is okay. Very good. That's a job that sucks, right? Vacuuming. All right, there we go. I think our bath spaces are pretty well decked out at this point. I suppose I could walk on fire. Just to do that. One more little decoration. This, I kind of want to do that a little bit. And yeah. I uh, haven't been drinking enough today. I haven't been drinking enough today. Uh. Cool. All right, good show. Wait, I have another bucket? I do. What can we do with another bucket? Put that right here, I suppose. I can't pick that wicker basket up and move it. Kind of sucks. All right, let's just set this bucket down here. So then we've effectively replaced the bucket from where is it? It's under B for bucket head. There it is. Splash that worked well. And now it's kind of hooked in there. Let's turn to that to that. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That'll do pig. All right. That looks a little more decorated than it did, huh? A little bath space. In fact, I'm going to take a picture of this. This might be worthy. This might be picture worthy. Yeah, in fact, I like the clothes there. Kind of make a nice little frame to it. Let's hide that. Let's put that. Let's turn that back on. All right, cool. And then... Well, you guys stand and admire my work. Oh, shoot. Guys, I'm going to have to pause here for a second. My boss is calling me, and that's just getting to be a pain in the butt. He's called me twice now. So let me uh, put you on standby for just a minute. Y'all chit-chat amongst yourselves. I'll be back as soon as I can knock him out.
Oh, that was fun. It, it's never easy talking. You can't send him a text without a phone call. And then there's got to be an email somewhere to establish an email chain and all this crap. But I guess he wants me to go out to do a drapery install that he's done the two previous ones. So he knows exactly how to do it. But, of course, you know, his wife's sick and blah, blah, blah. All right. So what I need to do here was hit this button. Well, I'm at hunger levels. And I need to put this here and save as this and uh, Oxbow 01 bath decor. Sure, there we go. All right, cool. So I apologize about that. Starving. Starving. You're bitching. Don't be a bitch. Oh, look. Boom. We're not starving anymore. Hmm. Cool. All right. Good deal. Yeah. No. No. It's just dish. Whatever. You know. You, it's just. It's just whatever. All right. So he, yeah, he's, but part of the issue for him is his wife works from home and she's like a big wig with some company and, um, so, um, they have three kids. He winds up having to, you know, if the kids are in school, then, you know, or he's got to take them to school in the morning, which means he's never to, to a job as early as I can be there. And stuff like that. It's just aggravating. Whatever. Crap. Um, yeah. There we go. I don't know if some of these died or I just neglected to actually put stuff in the box. I wonder if some of them die off occasionally. And you have to redo them, which is just, that's annoying. Huh. Now, I did do some work down on um, Autumn Lane here. So I did a little decoration here. I uh, got the houses kind of rigged up with the, the nice shutters and the large wooden planters. I had plotted out. Let me whip this out. Boink. An idea to put fencing around the base of this house to keep the kids out from underneath it. I don't know what y'all think about that. So it's 12, 24, there's 24, 30, 36, 42. We need 42 planks. What do y'all think of that? It seemed like a good idea. It seemed better than doing like the full tall wall. Uh, no, I'm not taking away any storage space. No. All right, so let's go get 42 planks. What time is it? 10.55. All right. Oh, yeah, it's morning because we worked all night on that thing. What's up, Chicky Poos? Who that? Oh, I, he, he's probably assigned here. All right, the sheep are just regrowing their... Coats. <gasps> we got more baby sheep. We got more baby sheep. Jack, Lady Bob. No, we don't. They just haven't grown up yet. While I'm here, might as well grab the poo, right? Because we're gonna have to make. Um, we're gonna have to make the. Um, planks because we're running short we had 48 in inventory and i took a couple to make the stools all right so let's grab some food let's take care of the piggies blinkers
Okay. Alright, and then, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. A lot of y'all in here to deal with. Love the bleats of the little sheep. Good God, I just freaking turned around and there was more poop. It's funny how that works. Don't turn around. Okay. All right, we have handled the pigs and the sheep. Let's just jog over here, dump this stuff off. Okay, let me get rid of all the extra crap I don't need. So clay bowls can go. We've, we're done decorating. That. Chicory can go. Dandelions we keep. Flatbread with onion we keep. Fur goes. Henbane goes. Basket goes. Doo doo brown goes. Mead bottles go. Uh, thick leather gloves. Why do I have those on me still? That's weird. That. That. That and that, and uh, two. Okay, let's grab an extra potion of weight. <laughs> cool. Um, grab a bunch of these. Oh, don't need that. We'll go right here. Some planks. Need a poo blower? What's a poo blower? Is that like one of those electric or powered, gas powered blowers that they blow stuff out of the street and stuff with? This is pretty much going to Okay. We still good with that look? Let's see. All right, so we're good with this. All right, cool. Kind of surprised there's no logs involved with this uh, fence. I would think there'd be, you know, one or two needed for the posts, but. Yeah, I don't think they would do this in real life, maybe, but. Certainly wouldn't do it for the safety of the kids because nobody cared about safety of kids until about 1985. You know, somewhere in that time frame. That I think that looks pretty good. I mean, small animals could get, you know, kids would probably crawl under there and get trapped. That, and there'd have to be a major rescue effort and something stupid like that. But yeah, I think that's okay. It's not a bad looking fence. It doesn't look perfectly engineered. Like it. It's got a few nails sticking through. Sure. Because what's a little tetanus? We've got uh, the light on the house and everything. Oh, I put a fancy, look, fancy door. I did this house up. So this is a braced uh, wooden door. So you got, uh, uh, let me see here. 
So you got decorated wooden door looks like that. Let me see if I can back up a little bit here. Back up. There we go. Now we can get the whole picture. So you got the standard door. That's on all the houses, but this one. This is the prototype. Then you got decorated wooden door. Then you got the batten wooden door, which doesn't look bad. Just looks like an upgraded, you know, a little fancier. And then you got the braced wooden door. And why'd you do the braced wooden door, A-Train? Decorated is pretty. Well, here's why. This is at the very edge of, this house is at the edge of the community, right? So I'm kind of thinking security concerns. Probably good, boonk, boonk, you know? Let's put a solid door on this house, right? Now we still got plenty of decorating to do in here. I'm not sure who lives here. Bolslawa. What do we have her doing these days? She's cooking. She is 62% happiness. That's not bad. It seems kind of low, though. Oh, it is low. There's a reason it seems. No. Wait. Boslawa. Oh, no, that's her. Boslawa. Boslawa. Yeah. She's cooking. Okay, I didn't have her info written down. Shutters and flower boxes for the window. What does? This house does? You mean like these shutters? <laughs> this house is equipped on the outside. Oh, it needs a window box there, I guess. Okay. I must have run out of planks. So, but anyway, yeah, a little bit of difference between each of the houses. I think it's good. All right, so we need to go get us some talent. We need some people. Uh, where are we weight-wise? We're okay. Food. That'll do for now. I'm, I'm hoping I've got the production stuff figured out and matched up better with our... Um, oh, got this. That's a lot of rot. You have 47 wooden bowls. And we're going to put those... Well, they can go in here. Because why wash them out, right? <laughs> Not part of the game mechanic. Cool. The rot can go in here, but we'll grab we'll grab uh, this and we can help towards the situation here. She's working, so we're not going to disturb her. We have some more in here. This is good. That's that's almost enough rot to do one field. That's good. Okay. All right. So I'm going to step over here for just a second for a specific reason because, yeah, I need to go make a pit stop. A piss stop, as it were. So y'all hang out for just a minute. I'll be back, and then we will continue
Okay, so we need to go get us some peeps. We got names. I have your name. I have your ass. Make a cup of hot tea. There you go. All right, very good. We're all set. <clears throat> Let's get, oh, hello. Somebody just comes walking around the corner. Excuse me. No, I don't need that either. I need that, and we want to do that. Okay, cool. Let's go. And then I think we still want to scout out. Scout it, scout it, scout it out loud. Um... That's not how the song goes, but close. Um, scout out the cow pasture setup. You know, it occurs to me. Let's stop in. Not that we need how to. How do you do? How do you do? Do you do the things that you do? No one could look. Never keep up with you. Only the best products here. Take care. Now I could I was trying to find the kid that was doing the Kamehameha. All right, where's this guy? Uniswap, where's he going to go? Um Actually, we're going to put him to work in the barn initially, I think. Eunice Law. Travels are all very well, but I would love to finally put down roots. Yeah, well, guess what, pal? Today's your Travelers lucky day. of this realm are drawn to the bonfires like moths, myself included. All right, Eunice Law. Let's get him into a house. Uh-oh, what seems to be the problem there? That's kind of weird. Huh, all right, we'll come back to that. Unislaw needs a house. All the new houses are on the east side. On Birch. We're going to put him in that one. He's not regularly going to be a farmer. But we are going to put him in... A position to farm right now to get that two up. Uh, yes. Uh, you'll see me occasionally post them on the Facebook group. <clears throat> and look for the Alabama A in the corner. You'll know me. And <laughs> look, look, look for me to answer a question. <laughs> Yeah, look for me to answer a question. You should know how my videos go now and how I answer questions. Um, so, yeah. All right, so he's going there. And then we're going to put him in the East Barn for now because we need people working on the poop problem. Barn East. You have one job, sir. I should have put all that rot back in, whatchamacallit, but that's okay. There we go. This will help keep, catch us up. Now we should be producing about a field's worth of rot per day. I mean, of fertilizer. You've okay, good. Now, what is this other guy's major malfunction? Why does he no tool hammer? Why isn't he a hammer? You're a stall holder. Is the problem actually, oh, you know what? Maybe the problem's in production. Do we not have... I 
I know we have hammers. We don't have hammers. Why don't we have hammers? Um, okay. Well, we got to go over to Tukey anyway. Duh, Tukey. Moron Klonica. Wrong map. Um, so, since we got to go take the Uber over there, we don't have to. But we're going to. We will joggy jog back up to the village and make some hammers because apparently our smithy types don't have hammers. It's just kind of weird that the tag was next to his name. You couldn't find me. Look for look for Adam. Look for double A. Trying to think of what if bronze hammers take logs or if they take sticks. Just in case, let's grab four logs. Just in case, let's grab four steak. Go. Do not get too close to them. Gonna be using my um, my iron hammer. Huh. Sorry, folks, you're not authorized to use my iron hammer. So let's put two in here. And two in here. Now let's run back and grab huh. put these logs up. FEF, let's grab four more steak. Let's make four more hammers and just make sure they've got plenty of tool. Before she goes back to that workstation. got four they've got four everybody's got plenty of tools all right anything else I need to dump off here show me my iron hammer if you're using my iron hammer I'm not gonna be happy I don't think she is all right, so there good okay cool all right, anything else I need to dump off while I'm here? We got a little fish meat, we got some cheese, we got some flat bread, we got rye bread, roasted meat, we got plenty of food. No? We're a little on the heavy side. Oh, I can dump these thick leather gloves. Don't need those. Someday I'm going to actually. Well, no, I have a plan on my house too. My house is going to become a bigger house. That's going to take up this space, which means we're going to undo that whole thing that I did. But we know how to do it, so. Um, management. Hold, please. Farming, farm shed, east. I bet she's not doing anything. I bet she's not, because I bet it's done. All right. So, Alruna, yep, you transfer to the East Barn. There you go. Cool. All right. 
Keep the people moving, keep them working. Once the fields are planted, who is this St. John anyway? St. John, why would they ask that? Who is this St. John anyway? It's like St. John's University? That's kind of weird. How are you? All right, what's up? Take me to Klonica, please. Time of the day is it? Shoot. Okay, we are looking to pick up Inga and Agnes. You stepped on a snail. <laughs> Crisis. Maybe interregnum isn't such a bad thing after all. Agnes and oh my gosh, what is Chi Chiwali Slawa? I can't pronounce your name. I really don't want you in my community. So Inga and Agnes, I can pronounce. All right. So Inga. <sighs> There's nothing like how is life treating you? Uh, good. Wait a minute. Let me think this through. Do we Season. have enough housing? I think we do. We have 28 people. We have 31 houses. And all the houses are complete. So there's an empty one. There's an empty one. And there's an empty one. Okay. So Maple 8 is down by the barn on the east side. Birch, uh, that's down by the barn on the east side. Ah! Oh, Adele's Way 2 is on the east side as well. Everything's on the east side. Moving on up, moving on up to the sky. Moving on up oh, it's to a you deluxe again. apartment in the sky. Uh, do we want to... Travelers of this realm are drawn to the bonfires like moths. All right, Inga. <laughs> so, hey, wait a minute. I was talking to you. Uh, we'll put her in Adele's way too. Inga is a huntress and a fisher type. Um, okay. All right, so that, oh, because I went this way. Now I know. All right, so we're going to actually put her in the fishing. Mm. No, we're not. She has a one on her resume. She's going to the barn. East barn, please. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, go make some poop. Get rid of that one, I'll move you into fishing. And then move you down by the lake. You get a lakeside view. Cool. This is weird. I don't know why he's got that deal there. Because he is... Let me reload the game here in a second. That's just a little buggy. All right, Agnes, Agnes, you are a farmer and a huntress. I said Inga was a huntress. She's, an, she's actually an extraction specialist. Agnes needs to work on her survival skills. So actually... Hello there. All right, I so here's, we are not no, you're not in the valley anymore, but you better go back there and get you some skills. All right, she's actually going to go east side. Um, yeah, that's fine. Maple 08, which this is going to suck, but life goes on. Actually, wait a minute. Agnes... Let's not put her in Maple 08. Let's put her in Birch, the unlabeled Birch one. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. 
Now, Inga, we're going to actually move her to Maple 8. There we go. That puts her right next to work because I'm nice like that. And now uh, Agnes can move to Adele's way. That'll put her a little closer to the water. Okay. Boom, boom. So good. Now she's got a job she ain't going to be thrilled with, but now we got to assign work back to uh, the fishing hut. Mm-hmm. And she can make fish meat. Can't even catch a freaking full pike per day. That's ridiculous. They nerfed, they nerfed this way too much. Yeah, they nerfed this too much. And this is just a temporary thing for her. Anyway, just to get her skill up in survival, get it off, get the one off her resume. So that'll square that away. Okay, so Agnes is set. Inga should be set. Uh, this will just take a second and allow this appear. And if we go back to the list, everybody's happy. And now we have just one. What just happened? I didn't put Agnes in the right house. What a blockhead. Oh, no, I didn't move her back over there. That's what it was. That's what it was. Okay, because I had to move her from one to the, the one I had put her in to a second house. And then it, it was just a little triangle deal. I had two butts and three beds and one was occupying another and bada bing, bada boom. Everybody's happy. All right, cool. She's so ronery, so ronery, so ronery we'll inside me around. And and some firewood. I, and a roof over my head, of course. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. Yep, but in two days, I get a fresh crop of recruits. So guess what I'm waiting for? All right. What do we want to do now? We've, we've recruited all four people. Um... What's our option to go this way? Is there a bridge up here somewhere? Oh, no, that map. That goes off the edge of the map. We skirt around the edge. Buffalo, Buffalo, there's a... So there's a cave there. We don't want to mess with that. Oh. Scope creep. Scope creep. No scope creep, people. Let's get back over to the house because we got uh, we got cow, USS Calpins to uh, figure out. Excuse me. On, this word, On your right. The only purpose of life. You ladies want to jump in the Uber with me? I mean, we take a ride. How is life treating you? All right, USS Calpins. So, yeah, I thought I thought maybe we could look at putting a house or two up on this side. Here on the wet. The thing is, I here's here's what I'm looking at from a village design. 
I don't want to encroach too close and maybe eliminate this deer spawn, but that's kind of irrelevant because we have hunters hunting and they don't care, right? That's one. Two, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not really looking to cross this road for the same reason because this spawn here and, but if we do, we'll be right along the edge of the road. I'm kind of looking to keep us up in this space. So what I think I'm going to need to do is just reevaluate where people are working because we've got room for more houses along here. And then we've got, we could build housing along here, I suppose, too. It gets a little steep, though. The terrain is a little wonky here, see? I just, I, I feel like I want to keep enough space up here for you know if we need another uh workshop like that could go here we're getting close to level three workshop but yeah we could do another workshop up here and then there's room for another uh herbalist hut as well I don't think it'll fit here with the uh, yeah I just have to move that torch the torchy's taco torchy's tacos taco taco burrito burrito yeah so we move the torches out we have room for a couple buildings um and i don't know then i mean then we would have full department of redundancy department with um all the um all the production buildings we would have two of all of them It was almost like I didn't even see the stuff that was right in front of me. Hinbane, we want. Thistle will take. Because it's pretty. But I don't want stupid um, deadly nightshade. Wait a minute. Stefan needs to go. I think I have poison. I knew I took a mission on somewhere. I was like, wait a minute. I got to get some poison for this lady. She's named the mold in her house. Stefan. That's not weird. But apparently she's named the mold in my house too. Which I didn't even know I had mold. Uh, oh, we do not have. Uh, let's see here. We'll get the wooden vial. Let's go make a freaking vial of poison for this lady, and maybe she'll just fix the problem for me. Uh, it helps to look and know what you need. So we need other potion po poison. Five nightshade, and we got a wooden vial. We need five what nightshade and a bucket of water. Oh. All the buckets are gone. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's go grab some buckets and refill this thing. Although, again, this is a situation where as long as there's buckets of water in somewhere. I don't know if they pull them from here. I think they pull them from food storage. How's everyone doing today? Made it through half the week. We're over the hump on our way downhill towards the weekend. Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope you give us a like, share with your friends, let them know about the channel. Let them know about Medieval Dynasty, now available on Steam. It's on sale, 25% off. Go get you some. Get some, baby. Uh, let's put like half of these in here. In fact, let's put a couple more in here.
two, sure. Okay, so we got 17, that's 170 plus 70, so that's 240. Yeah. We got we got some water, baby. All right, now we can make a poison. That girl is poison. Never trust a big button to smile. Cool. We'll throw this henbane in here. Dandelion's fine. Broadleaf plantain, we don't need that much on us. We need 25. Oh, almost got it. There, that'll do. Why 25 A-Train? Because it heals you five points, and that's enough to get us, if we're almost dead, <laughs> back up to full health. All right, so we got uh, the poison. Cool. All right, let's go find this chick, this weirdo. She's a hundred meters towards the land of confusion. We'll come over here and start cutting down trees and eating our lunch just like our old papa. She just went in her house. Hey. Hello there. Hello there, weirdo. Nice to talk to someone who's not the mold. I brought the anti Stefan mixture. Stefan. I think you got bigger while you were gone. So, how are you going to call this mixture? I'm sure Stefan Slayer deserves a name. Please stop. <laughs> You're the one who started Take it off. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so now let's let's just bask in the glow of our work over here yep I think that looks pretty neat I like it I like it a lot all right Calpins USS Calpins I think it's a destroyer bye autumn see you later take care Start getting dinner ready. Hooray. Cool. Enjoy your special day. That's right. It's like our anniversary or something, right? All right. I don't have a damn shovel. You know what? I have a shovel over here, though. Just for the occasion. Yep. Boom. Thought that through. All right. So now... Let's think this through. If we're going to do a cow pen over here, I don't want it to be here at the very bottom because this is like the flood area into this pond waiting to happen. So let's get rid of this, 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 these birch trees. Okay. Drama. Don't 
Birch trees like to roll away. Okay. Grab some of this extra stuff. Not waste the resources while we've got them in the area. Okay. So now, let's go here. And let's do a little clearing of this. Nope. Clear that out. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Mm hmm that out mm -hmm. okay starting to open some space up here okay not bad mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. These will probably wind up coming back. Now that, this birch tree, I think is going to go away as well. Now, if it were a maple, I probably would have left it. tree things pain in but they like to roll away from you all right let's see here let's see here okay we've opened up pretty nice space here I think go back to the hammer I'm gonna try to keep the berry bush if I can Okay, managed to keep that. That's good. Let's do this here. Cool. Pretty good amount of space here. I think this birch tree needs to go. I kind of want to have a respectable size pasture for the cows. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in theory, I guess they could be free range. I don't think they're going to wander very far off. And it's not like the animals attack them. Well, hmm. That would be an interesting twist. We don't have any wolf spawns in the area, but that doesn't mean there wouldn't be a random one that cropped up. That could be a challenge. You know? So, question then becomes, do we put the, um, You know what? We actually have a room maybe for a couple of houses here. And this is actually easy range. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to work. It's kind of steep. If it's stupid, but it works. It's not stupid. If we get down far enough, it works. Or we go this side, which I think it would work better. This is definitely flatter down here. 
So then what do you do with the cow pen? We put the cow pen here. Do that space. Open for the cows. Put a path down through the low area. Put a couple of houses on this side. Yeah, this is pretty buildable. Okay, so we got options over here for a couple of houses. I think we're going to have to get rid of that maple tree, which sucks. I like the maple trees. Sounds like we have a storm moving in. It's one o'clock in the morning. Who is this walking around over here? And why? Oh, that's the lady just getting over here to go to her house. Okay, that explains that. Hello, Jenny. Jen A is here. Yeah, you can see the birch logs rolling in the dark. That's true, as they're rolling away from you. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, huh? Okay, so what if... What if... Oh, that's not going to work. Now, I play with brightness at 125%, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I kind of want to clear... Man, I like the idea of the path almost being like this drainage area. Just drain, water drains down. It's just eroded the grass, you know, just kind of down this way. Comes back over this way. And then somehow gets down in pools right here. Kind of like the idea of a squiggly path like that. That said, <gasps> wait, ooh, this would be so cool. I don't think it's going to work, though. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, terrain's too uneven to build. But what if... What if... We push it to right here. That's fairly flat. That would create a little bit. That would break up our symmetry just a little bit. How is your day today, Jene? Um, sorry. Make sure you uh, turn on notifications so you know when we go live or upload a video. Uh, but yes, I'm doing a matinee today. Probably wind up doing a double play. Because sometimes you feel like it, sometimes you don't. Um, yeah, I didn't have any work today. Got some work tomorrow, so we won't do an early show tomorrow. Chicken Alfredo, yum. Ooh, apple crumble, yum. Double up. Yum. Yum. Okay, I've picked up a bunch of steaks and stones. So nobody gets their bones broken, as it were. I don't want to get too much closer to the deer spawn. The deer are right up over there. You know, if we have to go into the deer space, then screw the deer. All right. Now, we can't work on we can't work in this space that we can't deal with because that's permanent rockage. You have to bust up with a pickaxe and even then you still can't do anything with it. So let's ditch that bitch and this one.
Come here. Stop. Stop. Thank you. All right. Let's mosey over here and drop a rock. We got a lot of rocks on us. Okay. Fine. And then let's drop all these logs. You got 22 logs in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? No. We don't. Hey! Dumbass. All right, y'all can sort that out. There, I think the guy had sorted. All right, much better. Oh, it's autumn. I f Wait, no, it's not. It's summer. Autumn left. <laughs> hey, train. <laughs> Funny guy. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so Jenna has not seen our new upgraded facilities. So let's take her over there to show her that. Do a little show and tell, shall we? Uh-oh, that's no good. Damn it, what? Oh, because oh, it's multiple stones, that's why. Oops. Can't pick up individual multiple stones. Now we're going to turn this this way and drop all these logs together because now we got more. There we go. All right, cool. All right, let's go show Jen A what we did. We upgraded the bathing area. Do, 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 do. Oh, let me light the flyer. Now we had that, we had the tub, we had the barrels and the, the thing across it. We added a dirty uh, towels thing and we've added some towels laying around and some places to stand and a whole table full of stuffs. And we even got soap on the edge of the tub. Mm. So yeah, there's our fancy bathing area cheese grommet I don't think we're going to be able to see the soap where I took the picture from earlier. Oops. So I took the picture from right here. Yeah, let me retake this picture. Oh, you know what? I don't want to do it in the rain. We'll wait. I got a good picture. People don't need to see the soap sitting on the edge of the tub. It's not important. Anyway, so that's the upgraded bathing deal. Deal. I think Janae was here last night when we made Adele, Adele's Way. So we've got Adele's Way here. And in a couple of years, it'll be super pretty because there'll be cherry trees between the houses. Oh, I still got to fix this. Oh, I still got to fix this. I still got to fix this. I have materials on me to fix this. Let's fix it. the hell is the problem what seems to be the problem officer hello sorry I'm out here banging on your the ground outside your house
Hmm. Now let's try it. See if that fixes our problem. The only thing is our problem now no longer has a reference point. Whoops, hello. Boink, boink. You're so handsome. Why don't you have a wife? Well, I'm taking applications. Let's just say that. That looks about right there, huh? Step to the right. Slide back here. Boom. Okay, cool. I'm so glad I settled down here. All right, we may have to rethink this. This is, oh, I see what the problem is. The problem is I was a doofus. And made those two plots a little too far back. So we can fix that going into the next season. We'll, put, we'll bring them up closer to the fence. In our defense, the fence still doesn't line up. You know what? This is not freaking modern day laser line technology for crying out loud. Let's freaking build it. All right, let's see here. That's why it's good not to run super long lengths of road. So, oh wait, I've got an app for this. I have a plan. If you, if you run super long lengths of road and then you have to go back and take them out. Um, no, I, cause I don't want to marry her yet. First off, I need to keep flirting, but because we went up a level in diplomacy. We're up to seven, I think. Yeah. So I need to get back on the flirting tip. And then uh, the point we got, we put in inspiring speech so people produce faster. Um, but also, I want her skills to go up because I don't want her, you know, I don't want to marry her and knock her up and her skills still be low. I want to run her skills up a little bit, you know? That's, I think a lot of people rush into getting married and they um, don't take the time to work their skills up and don't take the time to work their Just potential spouses. Um, uh, her, um, you know, her skills up. No, 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 no. We have, no, 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 people. Uh, wait, wait, uh, let's go here. Eight stone, that's what we need. So we need 16 stone. There's one. There's some sitting over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's one right there in front of me. Where'd it go? Eventually, I'm going to put uh, fences around the other fields, too, I think. Fourteen, fitting, sixteen. All right, cool. Let's see how this works out.
Oh, we don't have any chicory on us. I think the chicory would look nice there in front of the pink. Let's find some chicory. That's henbane. That's not chicory. That's St. John's. That is also not chicory. That's Daisy. We got a girl with the Daisy Dukes on. That's St. John's Wart. Where's some chicory, people? Oh, I have this stupid badger badger. I didn't take it though. Come on, where is some chicory, people? We're kind of out now. You were dirty. That's what she said. That's not the berries. Let's see what we got over here. Ah, chicory. Here we go. Good. Oh, I'm here. I need a steak. Oh, we're here. While we're here. Oh, we already hunted the buffalo, didn't we? This is summer still. Yep. Okay. They're they're dead, Jim. All right. Now, I gotta say, I think down yonder, I still think this is gonna be a really neat place to build a village because of the waterfall. Plus, there's a cave right there. You know, and it's fairly flat, and then you start putting your fields up the. Uh, up the slope here maybe even put some houses up here but then the other thing is this area right here with this winding me meandering stream and then the edge of the map is here now the thing is that puts you further from the from Pia Stovia this puts you pretty still pretty close it's a uh, three full sprints of course I have athlete maxed out uh, three full sprints, we'll get there. Oh, it doesn't, it, I, I forgot, it, 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 it's been a minute because I hadn't done that aspect of the game, really. Um, okay, so, I, I forgot, it's kind of like, oh. I need to ask her permission or say, hey, let's talk about having a baby or something. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, cool. Cool places to build. I mean, the, the meandering stream is kind of close to Astoria. So you can get over there and, you know. That'd be neat. All right, let's see. Now, let's do that. And that. Huh? And then we have some planks. We can put more back there. And we'll have kind of layered. I like layered landscaping. You know, you put something short like monkey grass or mondo grass in the front. And then you have something colorful behind it that's maybe seasonal. Then you have something green behind that that's taller that, you know, is... It, it, it lasts longer or even a little small hedge and then maybe have a bigger hedge or a wispy um, bush behind that. I like landscaping. Landscaping is cool. All right. So maybe we won't 
redo that field because yeah that's kind of cool and actually with the height of it well the problem is those are going to be out of season these are only in season during summer so you know it's not going to look pretty come autumn so this these will still be pretty in autumn seasons change you know all that stuff so if you were coming out here you step around here and then boom there's your clothesline or you can walk around the planter whichever way cool nice little detail stuff here and there you know not as straight as i'd like it to be but that's okay all right back to the business at hand first off we need to put this away and use our facilities Night, Adele. Oh, wow. You're actually going to bed at a decent hour? Good for you. I hope you sleep well. And we hope to see you again soon. Always nice when you're on. Always nice when everybody's on. So I appreciate everyone being here. I hope everyone gives us a like. Shares with your friends. Let them know about the channel. Keep help, help us keep growing. We've been growing pretty quick. I like it. Picked up like three people since yesterday effectively picked up two people a day for the past year and that's super cool i so appreciate the support um we're gonna have to figure something out for this space here and we could do another laundry deal but i almost feel like a garden would be better a sitting garden could be super cool but their own personal garden i mean actually i think we could probably do four tile field not quite through let's start it at the house okay, there's one two three okay oh wow we could get all the way out to the road. That gets a little hinky in my opinion, though. I don't think I'd go that far with it. I think um, four tiles wouldn't be bad, or six. We want to be just behind the uh, a deal here and just away from the edge of the house. So come out to... And across that's not bad and then do we could do a fence around it or stones stones would be different but we could also set up a little uh, seating area maybe a couple of benches and then maybe some flower pots that might be kind of pretty uh, clothes washing station might work well too well oh, that could be over here under the tree or something kind of a community clothes washing setup. Oh, Ambry's going. Oh, I'm sorry. Ambry's taking her nap before work. Sleep well, Ambry. We'll catch you later. All right. So we've cleared out all this space over here. Now let's see if we can make our master plan work. Uh, first off, let's whip this out. Let's do this. Let's get rid of you and you. Okay, and then let's do this again and get rid of that and that. And then just clear this schmutz out up here. He really is an idiot. It's easy to talk with me. I just don't like the conversations about the weather, crops, animals, children, politics, work. She doesn't like talking about anything. It's easy to talk with her about nothing. So don't talk to her. Basically, it's what she's saying, right? We'll gather up a bunch of these stones. That'll make it easier um, to support construction of another house over here. 
thistle's so pretty. Okay. So, now we've kind of cleared this space here. I think we need to clear this tree. Okay, seven, boink, back to one. Hello, hello, hello. There's a tree there. That, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Okay, and this and this. All right, so here's the top of the hill. Okay. Come on. Come on, let's find a spot. Let's make this happen. Terrain is too uneven to build. Oh, we found a dip. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Let me get this thistle out of here. We found a spot. Right. There. Hmm. But I, now, okay, so now I'm rethinking this, though. I'm rethinking this because... One day, carpenters will be the most recognized craftsmen in the world. This almost seems like it'd be a good place for a house. That's a pretty nice view, do you think? So let's reevaluate. Maybe we could just put, maybe we put the cow pen over here in this space. Clear all this schmutz out, just put the cow pen. It's either that or houses, right? Just got more cows in my co-op play. I've got about 18 head of cattle, and now my team is like, we're going to need a bigger pen. <laughs> I like it. Better to have and not need than need and not have, right? There were two women out here. Did the other one go hunting the deer? Oh, she's doing the electric slide. Oh, there's deer right there. You seem confused as to where you're supposed to be. Yep. So... How many cattle can you put? Like 10 in one cow pen or something? I think it's quite a bit. I'm not a fan of birch trees. Just not. So if we have one cow pen there, could we possibly put a second one? 
just want to clear all the schmutz. So then we can keep the resources. Give me that. Definitely want the henbane. Oh, look. Here's chicory I needed earlier. So if we did a second one, would it work here? Wood. I saw it. Hmm. What do you think, gang? A couple of cow pens there. Probably put a cluster of like four houses over here because people love being next to cow pens. It's eight. Okay. Come someone. Hail, friend. Hey, what's up, girl? Busy B appreciates that. Busy B appreciates that. Uh, Busy B appreciates that. And boom. Have a good day. Who would have thought we can get So here comes the question. It is this is this like prime real estate better for Cows or for a house? Should we put houses up on this ridge? I mean, geez, I mean, they're going to have freaking commanding view here because I don't think we can put them here. Here we could. And all the way down to here we could. So that's two. Freaking treehouse. Let's see here. If we face north. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We can clear that schmutz out. There's rocks there. Then we're kind of up into this flat open space, which. So we could put the cow pens up here. And housing down here. Three cows, two bulls. All right. Or we could look at this up here. And we could free range the cows. Or we could, you know, fence it in. Don't fence me in. I would probably put a gate in here and we want to do a realistic fence we could do a stone fence now dumb ways to die I don't think we can build an iron. Yeah, we're not there yet. I feel famished. Oh my gosh. You whine like a little beach. Okay. So now... Hmm. 
Oh, that looks a little out of place, the more you doesn't it? The hungrier you get. Oh my god. Are we are we at ten percent yet? Okay, no. Have some cheese. Cheese for that wine. Hey Doug. We're joining heavy fencing. Well, I, yeah, I was going to look to just put a gate in here somewhere. And I'm kind of thinking of it from a perspective of... Um, we're at, I mean, we're backed up against wilderness, right? In theory, you know, we might have you know wolves out here or something. We'd want the backside to be protected... You know, against wolves or whatever. How's your day going, Doug? Appreciate you being here, sir. What's our heavy neck? So we can't do iron fencing yet. We could do log fencing, I suppose. Or palisade. Or just crossbuck fencing. You know? I like the idea of doing crossbuck fencing around the uh, pasture. This is four logs each. But I like the idea of there being a gate here. So where would we put the gate? What works? Oh, the way I had it worked? Figures. Plank gates, log gates. Wait, is there, was there a log gate? Log gate. Aha! That's much more better. Oh, wait, that's like huge, like the other one was. Maybe this will be okay. I can't see because my damn hammer's in the way. That fixes that. Kinda. Kinda fixed it, kinda didn't, doofus. Well, wait. We can only... There. Okay, now. That's not bad. A little bigger than I was kind of thinking, but just quite. Well, I appreciate you being here. All right, so we're going to have to think on this here. But, all right, so the other aspect of this discuss this whole discussion is, do we actually want to put the cow pens up here, or... Do we want to put houses up here with this commanding view and put the cow pen like here, which puts it right in the flood plain, which I don't really want to do, but not that that matters to the game because the game doesn't care. The game doesn't care about your flood plain issues. Oh, wait, 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 something worked. Tweak it, tweak it, tweak it, tweak it. There, there, there. Ugh. That looks dumb. That's dumb. Another birch tree has to go. All right. That's right up against the field.
I mean, really. It's... Nope, not sheepfold. You know? Then we got this space over here for pasture. Possibly a second one over here. Since there's no wolves in the area. <laughs> Took care of that. De wolf this zone. And you know something? Because they're cows and they're not the brightest things in the world, I could just put like a simple fence up along this ridge line and let the ridge line kind of serve as the containment. You know what I'm saying? And then we just have like regular size. In fact, this wouldn't even have to be here. This could be over here. And we'd probably get two in here, I'm thinking. Who, who ordered this crappy weather in the summer? Jeez. Okay, cow pens, USS cow pens. And then we actually could just turn this into the pasture area right here, which isn't as big as I might like. We still have room for another field over here if we want, or a couple of houses. Mm hmm. And we could put houses up on the ridge line over here. I'm trying to just come up with something a little bit different. rained every day in August? Holy crap. That sucks. I mean, and here's the thing. I think we could actually do this. Oh, no. We can't. Come on. No. Come on. Okay. Alright, this is where I feel we need a terra terraforming. Not enough to level mountains or change the map. But we should be able to dig out enough to get this house to sit down into the ground just a bit. You guys know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? You pick it up while I'm laying down here? Do you understand the word coming out of my mouth? See, because that, that's ridiculously high. Right? So, yeah, you should just be able to shovel out. You know, a couple of three feet of dirt to make the house sit down into the ground. In that sense, it would be kind of like the terraforming aspect could be like farthest frontier in which it would take a certain amount of labor to, you know, level an area out for a building. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. But then again, you guys up in the mid, in the upper Midwest have a lot of uh, basements, too. And you guys have lots of model railroads, too, in those basements. Of course, they also make good storm cellars, too. So we have a couple of options here to think through. Do we go 
for the cow sheds up on the hill or do we do cow sheds i mean because honestly i don't i don't think i would do housing this far away you know you could do housing right here and it would be farm workers for over here these farm workers these people could be farm workers or whatever because what i've wound up doing here is and this is not the best way to do this excuse me do you have trains in your basement seriously are you you do understand i'm a model railroader right i'm looking at my ho scale chessy gp30 and norfolk southern gp40 high nose Right in front of me now i'm not an ho scale modeler except i have been working on one for 15 years 18 years yeah because we haven't touched it since covid because the owners <laughs> the owner one of my best buddies is uh the owner of the train store it's about three miles from me and i've been helping him in, on his uh model railroad for like 18 years but he's an older gentleman and he and his wife like to travel. They like to go on cruises a lot. And uh, unfortunately, COVID shut us down working on the stuff. And then he's been kind of trippy about it. I don't know if he's going to let me back in his house because I haven't gotten the the um, stick. The stick. So what do you guys think? Calpins back here save this space for maybe a couple more houses because remember people who work in production could live way the hell away from it oh what I, the point i was trying to make was this is not the smart way to do this what you want to do is do your farm shed in the middle of the fields and do fields all around the farm shed and then do housing around the fields okay now then the smart strategy play is to do what i've done right here create a, a sitting area so then all your workers come gather there first thing in the morning and then your farm workers just blink and they're at work and then they're off to the fields. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. But what I've done effectively, because this farm, well, it's got, I, your farmers will walk halfway across the map. They're just not terribly efficient. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm actually an in-scale modeler. We had uh, the Plano train show this past weekend. I went over to that, checked it out. There's a lot of the usual stuff. Usual suspects, usual stuff. Unfortunately, the North Texas Council of Model Railroads, they don't push people to do new stuff. So you see the SSDD or SSDY, as it were. Okay, anyway, uh, so the better way to do this is kind of do this setup here and then just have fields. But it, the people, I mean, we've had, we had people coming from our farm shed way over yonder to come work in this field, and there was a lady assigned to this farm shed, right? So it's kind of goofy. It's just not terribly efficient. At some point, though, if you're playing long enough seasons, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know, guys. See, and here's the problem I have is we could do a, a, row, a row of houses up on the ridge if we could sink these into the ground down here. You know what I'm saying? That would look super cool because then the houses on the ridge... See, there's the problem is it stands up. Please stand up. Please stand up. See, if you're there, by the time you get up here, right, let's get up to about this height, you're going to be totally looking over that house. You know what I'm saying? So... So, which is a fantastic Peter Gabriel album. If we do the cow pens here,
We're going to lose those deer, which sucks, but whatever. It's not like I'm hunting them anymore. I have hunters for that. I pay, pay, pay people for that job. Uh, oh, split rail fence. Oh, wow. That, oh, that looks very Texas. Walk in the building site. Oh, you know what? It may be the angle. No, we just could be too close to that rock formation. Which is dumb because it's not. Oh, you know what? We may be under that tree as well. Hmm. I don't want to cut down every damn tree out here. Big ass gate. God, I don't want a big ass gate. Oh, there's a. Well, looks kind of dumb, but. That's dumb. I want to talk to no chicken. I want to talk about stupid NBA nicknames. That looks bad. I do like the fence, though. I'm on the fence about the fence. <laughs> That's funny. They train you so funny, Carl. Big funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Number two, number seven. What's blocking the building site? I think it's this tree. You got to go. No, it's probably these rocks right here. It's those rocks right there. Or not.
That's not too bad. Put your cows where you want them. Well, yeah, I like to see my cows when I run through, but the cubby makes more sense to your design. Be aware how big they are and how many 16 are. The cubby, you mean the cubby, that, that space back here? I mean, I could make this whole space in the pasture. Get rid of some of this schmutz. And then maybe look at... Could heck, could basically make this entire. See, this was a wolf spawn. When you first start on the map, this is a wolf spawn right here. I took it out with an orchard, and then I replaced that with a road. So we could turn this basically this entire area into the pasture. That would be kind of interesting. I think I would turn, if I turn the entire space in, probably turn these 90 degrees and face south. Yeah, I like leaving that little that little run open there. That's good. Let me reset myself now. Okay. Cool. All right, and then I would build a fence across here ish. Yeah. Almost isn't going to work well there. Probably be better to butt up against this tree. Except there's stone all up. There's rock all up in here. I don't know. We figure it out. I think I think this is going to be where we go. Clear out these trees. Clear out some of the schmutz. Although that will come back. And just put the fence over here on this side. We got room to grow this. Let's see. If we put. Started say here-ish. I think I put it a little too tight there. Damn. Hmm. 
<laughs> anyway, just kind of put a fence across here like so. I don't know. That may or may not work. I'm going to have to think that through. But, you know, let's see for the cows getting out. Yeah. I'm going to have to think this through. But you know what? I don't think well on an empty stomach. And so, I think, I do think well right now. After three hours of live streaming, I think this is a good place for us to call a halt. And take a break. And then I may do some planning and plotting and scheming offline so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me just kind of him and haw and haw and him. Oh, crap. That's right. I got to pick up my friend at uh, 7 o'clock. So if I'm back, it'll be in probably about three hours or so. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Medieval Dynasty. Now available on Steam. From Render Cube Games and Toplets Production. It's on sale till February 3rd. So make sure to get you some of that. Get you some of this. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Help us out. It helps grow the channel. We appreciate you being here. If you subscribe, make sure to turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. You didn't miss a whole lot. Um, we ran around and hired a couple people. We moved some stuff. We did some decorating, really. So, uh, Jenna, thanks for coming by. Adele, and Bree, and uh, I guess Autumn's off cooking dinner. So, uh, Doug, appreciate you being here. And everyone else out there listening, thanks a lot. Appreciate you being here. And uh, enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you on the next one. So, like, share, and subscribe. Join us on Discord. Link in the description below. Your donations are welcome at paypal.me slash games. That's paypal.me slash games. Link in the description below. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon. All that good stuff. We appreciate you being here. And we will see you next time. Hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning. Wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond, I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.